So in this lesson, we are going to introduce the concept of color charges and color forces. So previously, we have uh, discussed three, uh, six types of quarks, which is the up, down, strange, charm, top, and bottom quarks. So these uh, quarks, uh, uh, these six types of quarks uh, are known as the flavors of the quarks. So in addition to the flavors of quarks, uh, each flavor can have uh, three colors. So these, these three color, which is also known as color charges, uh, can be red, green, or blue. So the flavors and the, the colors have nothing to do with uh, our uh, human senses. So the three colors, they are assigned red, green, and blue. So that if inside the hadrons, when three quarks combine, they would produce a color of uh, white. So hadrons have a total color charge of zero, wherein uh, each quark should have a color charge of either red, green, or blue. So these color charges are responsible for giving the color force and the, uh, these color forces are responsible for the strong nuclear force. So the study that uh, deals with color charges and color forces is uh, called quantum chromodynamics or QCD. So it is the uh, it says that the strong force between hadrons is produced from the color force between the quarks. So the uh, particle messengers that transmit these color forces are called the gluons. So uh, if you would recall the gluons we have discussed is a particle uh, associated with the bosons, which are the force carriers. So initially, uh, in the beginning of uh, elementary, elementary particles, they thought of that the strong force uh, arises from mesons, but in uh, it was outdated. And now in qu quantum chromodynamics, the strong force uh, is associated with the particle known as the gluons. So, as an example, here we have a Feynman diagram representing the gluon uh, between the up and down quark. So, as the color of the up quark, uh, change, which is initially red, changes from blue. Uh, color is a uh, color charge is changed as the gluons are exchanged so the up quark being initially red uh, transitions from blue uh, converted to blue the gluon is exchanged within the down quark which is initially blue and then transition to red so overall the three quarks inside the hadrons would cancel out and they would become uh, white. So quarks are always in groups of three, as we have uh, discussed earlier inside hadrons. So how do we know that uh, these quarks uh, exist inside hadrons? So one way is to uh, observe them experimentally. But experiments uh, are unsuccessful in isolating uh, these quarks so far. So in lab in laboratories, when you want to isolate a single quark, uh, it would require uh, tremendous amounts of energy. And upon the process, if you would uh, interact, uh, say, two hadrons in a collider, they would always seem to produce more particles instead of uh, isolating uh, each individual quarks uh, because we know that uh, uh, mass uh, can be is equivalent to energy and if we want to observe individual quarks it requires more energy 
and in the process we end up getting uh, more particles instead of uh, isolating these quarks. So this property is called uh, confinement.